meteorologist Rob Perillo. Welcome back. Well, after a round of some showers and thunderstorms late this afternoon, early this evening, it looks like it's going to be back to a drier pattern for just a couple of days. Then rain chances picking up and we get tropical moisture moving into the Gulf of Mexico. And it's going to stick around for a while and we can't rule out tropical development. We'll talk more about that in just a bit and take a look at the big picture on the tropics in a second. First off, though, as we take a look at the infrared water vapor imagery and looking at the upper parts of the atmosphere, we have our cold low that's producing winter weather in the Rockies farther to the east, a high pressure ridge, a little bit of a ridge developing in the Gulf of Mexico this afternoon, and this ridge is actually going to kind of slip down to the south and west, so that's going to allow for a drier Thursday, part of Friday as well, but off to the west, we have a little bit of an upper level trough here by the Big Bend of Florida. That's going to be moving westward, and maybe a little bit of a disturbance that the National Hurricane Center is watching. That's going to get in the mix and head toward the Gulf of Mexico as well going into next week. Week, so our moisture levels are going to be up now this evening. Most of the big moisture back to the west where flash flood watches are in effect across portions of the Texas Hill Country. Locally, we had our scattering of showers and thunder showers and basically a little bit of a wind shift line as that high pressure system at the surface tries to work its way southwest where that means northerly winds for tomorrow. So uh, generally that's a drier situation, but unfortunately it's going to be hotter with those north winds across the area and rain chances will be lowered. You can see the action back to the west, also busy over by Florida. Now, National Hurricane Center has been watching this uh, broad area of uh, disturbed weather uh, south and east of the Carolinas. It's not doing anything, so they lower their chance of development there over the next couple of days to 20%. But what they added this evening is this area of disturbed weather east of the Bahamas. They feel this is going to be moving toward the Florida Peninsula this weekend and perhaps eventually get uh, closer to the Gulf of Mexico, where maybe some development may would occur, but I'm not looking at anything big developing, but we're going to have lots of tropical moisture probably moving in a broad area of low pressure that's going to be impacting our forecast as we go into the latter part of the weekend and certainly a good part of next week. You got tropical storms out here in the Atlantic. The next wave coming off the African coast now a 90% chance of developing and this one's probably going to go and then there are two more systems off to the east that could develop down the line. So here we have our tropical storms Paulette and Renee. They're going to be running out in the open Atlantic. Both have an opportunity or a window to become a hurricane. Bermuda is going to have to watch Paulette and Paulette's not out of the equation of heading toward the U.S. East Coast. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So here's the GFS model. We showed you the Euro earlier. There's Paulette and Renee moving out. Here's the tropical moisture moving across the Gulf of Mexico. And this is the wave that's coming off the African coast. That could be Sally and that one uh, certainly looks like it could be a pretty potent hurricane, not only for portions of the Caribbean, but uh, most of the longer range models bring this system toward the Gulf of Mexico around uh, say the 20th through the 24th. So we'll have to watch that one for sure, but no threats immediate at this point. So tomorrow we start off mostly sunny, partly cloudy for the afternoon. Best rain chances stay to the north and west and look at that high temperatures in the mid 90s. So 73 the low tonight with fair skies later on tomorrow up to 94 for the high. That heat index should stay below 100 and a nice breeze from the north if you can get in the shade, but not much of a breeze, but getting in the shade will make a difference. Uh, rain chances up late Friday as we start to see some moisture coming in and then the weekend and beyond looks to be a wet pattern with a good chance of daily showers and thunder showers in the forecast. Jim. Okay, thanks Rob.